So our next Young Scientist finalist for the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge for 2017 comes to us from Garden City, New York. Let's give a warm welcome to Austin. How you doing, Austin? Doing good. How are you? I'm great. There you go. Good luck. Good. Have fun. Welcome to Heliopath. Helio meaning sun and a path to energy and water independence. When I look up at the sun, I wonder, why are we in an energy crisis with 1.3 billion people living in energy poverty and global warming threatening our very existence? Why don't children have lights to study with? And why does a child die every 21 seconds from diseases associated with water sanitation or supply? The sun's energy striking the surface of the earth for one hour is equivalent to the total annual energy consumption worldwide. Solar energy is a logical solution to the world's energy crisis. I have been passionately studying solar energy over the last two years, and I began to think of simple ways I can harness the energy of the sun to solve these important global challenges. Cost is the most important factor to consider when developing meaningful solutions. My project focuses on simple, low-cost solutions to improve solar energy efficiency. One of the most dramatic ways to improve solar panel efficiency is using a solar tracker. In my location, according to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, a single axis asthma solar tracker can increase energy production up to 22%. Unfortunately, computerized solar trackers are complicated, expensive, and break down easily. I had an idea to build a simple, low-cost solar tracker with a budget of $50. My engine design criteria were for it to be simple, low-cost, and easy to build and maintain. My hypothesis was that I could design a solar tracking device that could rotate the solar panel from east to west throughout the day to increase energy production without the use of electricity. My design utilizes engineering principles of the Greek scientist Archimedes. I combined together Archimedes' principles of levers, pulleys, and ancient water clocks with solar azimuth angle calculations and the photovoltaic effect. After over a year of research, I designed and built my prototype, which I named Heliopath. My design can be explained in two parts. The first part is a solar panel mounted to a rotating drum. The drum is attached to a Lazy Susan base of ball bearings, allowing the solar panel to rotate from east to west. The second part of my design is the mechanism that makes the drum move. This consists of a metal balance arm with a container of water on one side and a counterweight on the other. As the water slowly drips on the water container, the counterweight causes the balance arm to move. This pulls a string through a pulley, rotating the drum, and therefore the solar panel from east to west. This is how to assemble Heliopath. To test my design, I compared the energy production of Heliopath to an identical fixed-mounted solar panel. I started my testing at 9 a.m. and finished my testing at 3 p.m. I tested Heliopath for 11 days during winter. My data showed that Heliopath averaged 16% more output compared to the fixed solar PV panel. One of the biggest obstacles with my original design was friction. To address this, I redesigned the full component of my mechanism and constructed another prototype using a fidget spinner Yes, that's right, a fidget spinner. <laughs> oh, to reduce friction on my rotating drum. I used 3M dry cycle and lubricant and plastic washers to reduce friction on my mechanism. My fidget spinner prototype uses 3M Scotch brand superglue gel to secure the mechanism. My data show that the improved prototype averaged 20% more output compared to the fixed solar PV panel. The data supported my hypothesis that a solar tracking device that rotated a solar panel from east to west throughout the day would increase energy production compared to a fixed solar PV panel. I believe that no child should die due to lack of water to drink or suffer the despair of energy poverty. Heliopath can help and offer solutions including providing more electricity, delivering more clean drinking water, pumping more water for irrigation, and it's cost effective and economically viable. Now I am most interested in developing Heliopath a step further. I came up with a simple low cost way to cool a solar panel in climates where high temperatures can affect electricity output and cause the solar cell to degrade. My new concept design consists of a handmade coil of copper tubing that is attached to the back of a 10 watt monocrystalline line solar panel. Water circulates through the coin coil and into a one gallon insulated storage tank. I use 3M thermoconductive epoxy adhesive, TC2810, to maximize heat transfer to heat, maximize the heat transfer between the PV panel and the water in the cooling coil. This adhesive is ideal because it is conductive, not insulating. I am very interested in developing this technology further to allow hospitals in developed nations to have electricity and hot water for basic sanitation and to cool solar panels for better efficiency. In conclusion, I hope you would join me in a new path, a path of hope and clean, sustainable energy and water for everyone on the planet. Thank you.
Wow, great job, Austin. This is uh, really an important contribution. Um, so maybe you could uh, step back, and clearly there was a, a journey that you've had from the beginning to where you are today. Maybe you could just comment uh, on maybe one obstacle and also maybe one limitation that, that you need to address going forward. Okay, well there was a lot of problems that I encountered with my conducting my experiment. So one of the biggest ones in the beginning was actually getting my data. Because my experiment is run over a six hour period, so it's actually very difficult to find time so that I could actually conduct the experiment. And obviously if it's, if it's you know cloudy outside or it's really dark outside, I can't really get data. So that was definitely one of the biggest obstacles going forward with um, was uh, getting data. Austin, thank you for the fantastic work. When I was reading your abstract, I was trying to make the connection between solar energy and clean water. And I know that you have the coil on the back of the panel. Tell me, at what temperature did the water become? And is it warm enough to actually kill bacteria that's in it? OK, well, this is actually an application I developed over the summer. And I didn't actually have time to test it. So basically, the idea is that the sol when the solar panel gets heated up, that it, um, it loses its efficiency. So by water running through this cooling, uh, cooling coil, as I call it, the water will, tr the, through conduction, heat will be transferred from the PV panel to the water in the cooling coil, and then that water will be moved into this insulated storage tank. And how I connect um, the solar energy to water is that they actually, clean water, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so they, uh, they actually use in developing nations, as you know, um, water wells to provide, um, obviously, water for people. And one of the ways they do it is using solar panels to power those pumps. And one of the things I was thinking about was actually hooking up Heliopath to one of those designs to actually provide more water for those people. Austin, excellent work. Really beautifully presented as well. Can you tell us a little bit about a, a moment or two, or two, maybe one or two times, where your mentor really kind of came to your rescue to help push your thinking when you might have been stuck, that collaborative process. OK, sure. Well, when I was coming up with this idea for the cooling coil mechanism, I needed some sort of adhesive to actually um, connect the cooling, adhere, I guess, the cooling coil <laughs> to the, uh, the panel. And that's when she told me about this TC2810, which is actually a con thermally conductive epoxy adhesive, which is very rare because usually um, adhesives are insulating and not conductive. So it's a very innovative, pro um, innovative pro uh, product by 3M. What else is new? <laughs> 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 so that was a very... So looking at the, um, and this is really cool, um, looking at the, the needs that, that you're trying to address, if you could take your prototype and just put it somewhere to make the biggest difference right now, where would that be? Uh, definitely in developing nations, because just something like this, that actually can pr make a very big difference for people that aren't used to all the stuff that we have, like running water, um, electricity, and just lights to study with and stuff like that. So it can definitely make a very big impact impact for people in developing nations. Austin, do you see, do you see uh, this at like large levels, like commercial or large space? Uh, I see a lot of uh, area taken up with the design. Do you see this in like uh, at residential home level or is it larger spaces that you, you conceive this to start with? Uh, I think it can definitely serve um, whole communities such as um, uh, clinic or like hospitals or clinics, stuff like that. It, it can really be used in any sort of thing like that. It can be used to power a house or something, um, a community uh, station in that manner. It can really be used to just power anything. Austin, I agree with all of the judges. Very well done, well presented. But I'd like you to elaborate a little bit more on the issues of scalability, um, to just think a little bit more about the example that you gave whole clinic as one example, what issues of scale do you anticipate and how would you address them? Well, my project is actually very easy to be scalable. Uh, theoretically, you can just like make all the uh, pieces bigger and just use a, a larger solar panel and it will actually produce more electricity. So that's one way I would uh, add, um, deal with that issue of making it bigger.
Really nice work. Great job. How are you Thank feeling? You. Feeling good. It went, went, went well, right? Thank you. All right. Excellent job. So a uh, round of applause as Austin heads out. I'd like to, we haven't talked to, to them directly, so I have a couple of the 3M mentors that I'd like to have come down. So if, uh, if Sam and Candace, could you make your way down here? Love to connect with you for a bit. <laughs> 